In this video, we are going to learn how you can send RSS feeds to Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Discord and Telegram. So let's suppose you are running a website, a news channel or an e-magazine and you are updating RSS feeds on a regular basis. Now you want that whenever a new RSS feed is updated, automatically the same feed should be shared on your Twitter account as a new tweet, on your Facebook page as a new page post, on your LinkedIn account as an article, on your Discord channel as a new message and also on your Telegram channel as a new message. For that, you need to integrate your RSS by Pabli with all these social media platforms. So how you can set up this automation and how you can integrate all these software applications, for that you need to come to my screen. To integrate RSS feeds to multiple social media platforms, first we need to log into P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com. This is the website of Pabli. Now here we can find two options, sign in, sign up free. If you are a new user, you have to just click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes. And you're going to get free task every month. If you're already a user of Pabli Connect, simply sign in. From the all apps section, access Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, click on this plus sign, create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as RSS feeds to multiple social media platforms. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want to share the RSS feeds to our multiple social media platforms. So first let's integrate RSS feeds to Pabli Connect. So open this trigger window and here choose the application name as RSS, select the trigger event as new item in feed. Click on connect and now the RSS account is connected to Public Connect. Now here we have to give the feed URL, enter the feed URL over here. This is the example. So I'll just take you to my Z News RSS feeds over here. These are the titles and these are the paths. So I'm just going to copy this world RSS path from here and I'll be just pasting the same over here as my feed URL. And now let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see the responses received and all the details of the updated RSS feed is captured over here. Okay, here we can find the title, Russian missile attack on Kiev, US President Joe Biden was advanced air defense systems for Ukraine. Here we have got the publishing date. Here we have got the link. When we scroll down, here we have got some dates, some IDs, and here we have got the content also. So this is the content. And here even we have got the comments as well as the author. Okay, this is the Z News author. So now here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in capturing the response as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently. The data will surely arrive. And here also it is mentioned that this particular trigger will check for the new data in every 20 minutes. Okay. So now we want the feed details to be shared on our multiple social media platforms. So first I'm going to integrate Twitter with Pabli Connect. So let's come to this action window and here choose the application name as Twitter. Select the action event as create tweet. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Twitter. Now here it is asking authorize Pabli Connect to access your account. Let's click on authorize app. Authorization successful and now the Twitter account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here it is asking for the message. So here I am just going to give the message as breaking news. And after that, let us map the details that we have got from our trigger response. I am just going to map this title and along with that the link also. So for mapping, we have to simply click it over here. Come to the trigger response from the drop down, we are going to map the title. And after that, I am just going to map the link also. So this is the link, okay. And here the instruction is also mentioned that you can use text formatted truncate action step to meet the Twitter's 280 character limit. So we have a character limit over here. So remember whenever you are going to map the details over here, we are in the character limit of 280 words, okay. Now why we have mapped these details just because next time whenever the updated RSS feed details will be captured in Pabli Connect, automatically the updated feed details will be shared on your multiple social media platforms. Okay, so instead of copying and pasting, we have mapped the details over here. Okay, and now let's click on save and send test request. 
Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means the updated RSS feed in share on your Twitter account. Let's check it. We have to just refresh our Twitter account. Okay, and here we can see that the RSS feed details are shared on our Twitter account. And here we can find the link also. So in this way, our Twitter integration is working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect. So now we want to share this particular feed details on our Facebook account also. So now let's integrate Facebook with Public Connect. Click on this plus sign to add an action step. And here we are going to choose the application name as Facebook Pages. Select the action event as Create Page Post. Click on Connect. Click on Add New Connection. And click on Connect with Facebook Pages. Authorization successful. Okay, and now the Facebook pages are connected to Public Connect. Now here we have to select the page. So I have already created some Facebook pages over here. So you can see my Facebook page name is Public Connect. So now I want the RSS feed details to be shared on this particular page that is Public Connect. So I have to select the same page name over here in Public Connect. So let us find our page that is Public Connect. Now the page access token is automatically captured. So we are not going to make any changes. Now here it is asking for the message and the link URL. So again, we are going to map the details that we have got from our trigger response over here. Okay, the title as well as the link. So let us map them. Here we have to just type breaking news. And after that, let us map the title. And now we are going to just map the link URL over here. Okay, so we have mapped both the details. Now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means the RSS feed details are posted on our Facebook page also. Let's check our Facebook page. We have to just refresh it. Okay, and here we have got the same RSS feed shared. That is breaking news, Russian missile attack on Kyiv. Okay, and here we have got the link. So in this way, our integration with Facebook is also working fine. Now let's move back to Public Connect. Now we are going to share the same feed details, the same RSS feed on our LinkedIn account also. So let's integrate LinkedIn with Public Connect. Click on this plus sign to add an action step. And here we are going to choose the application name as LinkedIn. Select the action event as share an article or URL. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with LinkedIn. Authorization successful. And now the LinkedIn account is connected to Public Connect. Now here the author name is automatically captured. Author sharing the content on LinkedIn. So I'm not going to make any changes over here. Now here it is asking for the content and the article URL. So here we'll be mapping the details again from the trigger response. So I'm just going to click it over here and I'm adding the content as breaking news. And here we are going to map the title. And here we are going to map the link that we have got from our trigger response. And now we have to select the visibility as public or connections. So you have to select the visibility as per your requirement. In my case, I'm just keeping it as public. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we have got the response. It means the RSS feed details are shared on our LinkedIn account also. Let's check our LinkedIn account. We have to just refresh it. And here we have got notifications as one over here. Your post was shared successfully from Z News. Let's open the post details. And here we have got the same breaking news, Russian missile attack on Kyiv. And here we have got the link. So in this way, we have integrated LinkedIn with Public Connect. Now let's move back to Public Connect. And now let us integrate Discord with Public Connect. So click on this plus sign to add an action step. And now we have to select the action application as Discord. Select the action event as send channel message HTML. Click on connect. Now here it is asking for the webhook URL, message, bot name and other details. For that, you have to just click on this hyperlink. Follow these steps to get the webhook URL from your Discord account. And now here we are redirected on our Pabli forum. So here you can find all the instructions how you can find the webhook URL. So as I already know the instructions, I'll directly take you to my Discord account. So this is my Discord account. Here you can find all the servers that I have already created. And the server name which we are going to use for this integration is Pabli team where I have already created some channels. You can find the channel names over here. Okay. And here my channel name is RSS feeds. So now I want to share all the updated RSS feed details on this particular channel. Okay. If you want to create a new channel, simply click on this plus sign, create channel. Just select the channel type, give a name to your channel, select the visibility as private or public and click on create channel and a channel will get created. Okay. Now to access the webhook URL, we have to just click on this small arrow sign, click on server settings. Here we have to just come to integrations. 
and here we have to click on web books click on new web book here we have to just give a name to the web book so let us give it as integration for rss okay i'm just giving a random name here you have to select your channel name so my channel name was rss i have to select the same over here that is rss feeds and now we have to copy the web book url from here and click on save changes and we have to paste the web book url over here okay now here it is asking for the message and bot name so here in the message we are going to map the title before that let us type breaking news and here from the drop down let us map the title and along with that let us map the link also so we have entered the message now here it is asking for the bot name you can give a bot name as per your requirement in my case i'm just giving it as rss if you want to specify some bot icon also you can give the bot icon url over here but remember it supports jpg gif and png formats only you can select the text to speech as disable or enable as per your requirement i am keeping it as disable and let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the responses received it means the updated rss feed details are shared on our discord channel also let's check our discord channel let's close this window and here we have got the bot name as rss here we have got the breaking news a uh, russian missile attack on kiev and here we have got the link so in this way we can see that our integration with discord is also working fine let's move back to public connect so now we want to share the rss feed details on our telegram account also let's integrate telegram with public connect so click on this plus sign and now we are going to choose the application name as telegram select the action event as send a text message or reply html click on connect click on add new connection and now here it is asking for a token to create a connection between telegram and public connect so we have already created various videos on how you can integrate telegram with public connect you can refer any of the video the link is attached in the description box you can just watch the video and you can create a connection between telegram and public connect okay as i have already created a connection i'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and i'll click on save and now the telegram account is connected to public connect now here it is asking for the chat id for that i'll just take you to my telegram account and here in the url you can find the chat id this is the number this is the chat id so i'm just going to copy it and i'll be pasting the same over here in public connect okay and before the chat id a dash sign is required okay now here it is asking for the text message so let's add the message over here again as breaking news and let us map the title from the trigger response along with that i'm just going to map the link also okay and here i'll just make this a okay i have corrected the spelling breaking news okay now here we have to select the disable notifications as yes or no i am just keeping it as no and disable pre link previews i am just keeping it as no you can select it as per your requirement and now let's click on save and send test request okay and here we have got the response it means the updated rss feed details are shared on our telegram account also let's check it and here we have got the same updated rss feed details breaking news russian missile attack and here we have got the link also so in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first data save successfully okay now we have set up an automation this is a one time process next time whenever the updated rss feed details are captured in public connect automatically the same updated rss feed details will be shared on your multiple social media platforms so i'll not be able to show you this in the real time just because i have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response so now i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now okay i'll just minimize the linkedin action step the facebook action step even the twitter action step and the trigger window so first we have created an integration between rss and public connect to capture the updated rss feed details and then we have shared the same updated feed details on our multiple social media platforms that is twitter facebook pages linkedin discord and telegram and in this way we have learned that how we can share rss feed details to multiple social media platforms using public connect 
So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case you have any queries, you can just post your queries at Pabli Forum. Our team will surely get back to you. This is our Pabli Connect website. And to know the latest updates and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is Pabli.connect. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is attached in the description box. You can clone this workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.